boys and girls from grade four, welcome back. This is Nofil Gattan, and we will start with our book for A, Unit 1, Health is Wealth. Today, we will learn about punctuation and writing composition. First, let's go through your previous homework. You had to look at your pupil's book, page 22, and fill the diagram and write a short paragraph about sports. Let's go through it together. What are the water sports? Swimming and sailing. What are the winter sports? Skiing, ice skating. What are the sports played with a ball? Basketball and volleyball. What are the favorite sports? Walking and cycling. Now, names of Kuwaiti players. Now, Write a reference to the diagram and choose a category and write a short paragraph in four sentences about sports. So the title is sports. I play sport to keep fit. My favorite sport is cycling. I go cycling in the park. I go cycling three times in a week. Again, I play sport to keep fit. My favorite sport is cycling. I go cycling in the park. I go cycling three times in a week. Perfect. Now, let's move to the writing part. All right, boys and girls, remember the rules of punctuation. Use a full stop at the end of a sentence. Use a question mark at the end of a question and don't forget to capitalize at the beginning of the sentence with the names, the names of the months, days, and places. Let's practice together. Punctuate the following sentences. Don't drink fizzy drinks. Don't drink fizzy drinks. Don't, the first letter D is capitalized because it's the beginning of the sentence. Drink fizzy drinks. And at the end, we just added a full stop. Don't drink fizzy drinks. Excellent. How can you keep fit? How can you keep fit? Remember, boys and girls, what type of sentence is this? How can you keep fit? How, the H, is capitalized because it's the beginning of the question. Can you keep fit? And at the end, we just added a question mark. How can you keep fit? Excellent. He is going to visit Nasser. He is going to visit Nasser. He, the H is capitalized because it's the beginning of the sentence, is going to visit Nasser. N here because it's a name. So the N here is capitalized and then full stop at the end of the sentence. He is going to visit Nasser. Now, the writing rubrics, the graphic organizer. Answer the given guiding questions using phrases, not words, but phrases. Now, use the phrases to write complete sentences in your paragraph. State your main ideas. Organize your ideas. Add supporting details and make your last sentence a conclusion. Again, Use the phrases to write complete sentences in your paragraph. State the main idea, organize your ideas, add supporting details, and make your last sentence a conclusion. Now, pre-writing techniques. You remember, boys and girls, you use the graphic organizer to pre-write, and instead of using verbs, you use phrases. And you have to explore your ideas and be aware of the number of sentences. Please follow the correct format and the layout. If it's an email, follow the correct format of an email. If it's a paragraph, follow the correct format of a paragraph. And at last, please follow clean and neat handwriting and correct punctuation. Now, tips for writing. 
use the correct punctuation marks, vary your ideas, write full sentences and check your spelling. Again, the tips, use the correct punctuation marks, vary your ideas, write full sentences and check your spelling. All right, boys and girls, now fill in the graphic organizer and then use it to write a paragraph about healthy habits. The following guide words may help you. Shower, calm, clip, fresh, air, early. Again, shower, calm, clip, fresh, air, early. Now, these are the questions you should answer about healthy habits. How can you take care of yourself? What do you do to keep your nails clean? What do you do to keep fit? And when should you go to sleep? Question number one. How can you take care of yourself? Go back to the words and answer. Take a shower and comb my hair. That is correct. How can you take care of yourself? Take a shower and comb my hair. Question number two. What do you do to keep your nails clean? Clip nails. Excellent. Clip nails. All right, boys and girls. Question number three. What do you do to keep fit? Let's go through the vocabularies back again together and find the answer. I will read them for you. Shower, calm, clip, fresh, air and early. Let's answer our question. What do you do to keep fit? Thank you. Walk in fresh air. Walk in fresh air. Question number four. When should you go to bed? When should you go to bed? I will read the words for you. Shower, calm, clip, fresh, air, early. Early, that's the answer. Early. All right, boys and girls. Now, let's go through our graphic organizer of our healthy habit paragraph. Let's answer the questions together. How can you take care of yourself? Take a shower and comb my hair. Next question. What do you do to keep your nails clean? Clip my nails. The third question. What do you do to keep fit? Walk in fresh air. The fourth question. When should you go to sleep? Early. So this is our graphic organizer for our paragraph. Now. How can you take care of yourself? Just take the answer and start your paragraph with it. I always wash my hands, take a shower and comb my hair. That's your answer. And then go for the next question. What do you do to keep your nails clean? Clip nails. That was your answer and now make it in a full correct sentence. I clip my nails every week to keep them short and clean. Very good, boys and girls. Let's move on to the third question. What do you do to keep fit? As you answered, walk in the fresh air. Just take your answer and add it to the next sentence of your paragraph. I walk in the fresh air to keep fit. Perfect. And your last question, when should you go to bed? As you said, early. So, try to make a sentence now. Let's read the paragraph about healthy habits. That's your paragraph. I always wash my hands, take a shower and comb my hair. I clip my nails every week to keep them short and clean. I walk in the fresh air to keep fit. I go to sleep early every night. Very good. Don't forget, boys and girls, you do have a homework. So go back to your pupil's book 
page 27 and write a short paragraph about how can you take care of yourself using the same graphic organizer. Alright, I'm going for the first example with you. I like to take care of myself by following healthy habits. Alright boys and girls, we have reached the end of our episode and we have learned lots of new things together. We learned how to punctuate sentences and write a short paragraph about how to take care of yourself. That's it for today and for our episode. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you soon. Take care.